Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're doing something a little bit different and I'm so excited for this because I've been waiting for a really long time. I've had most of these products for about three months just sitting here waiting to film. I'm finally getting to dig into them. So without further ado let's just jump straight in. So I just wanted to preface this video with saying that some of these products I have tried already. There's a couple of them that I haven't, not a couple, a few of them that I haven't. Some of them I already have like my opinion on because I've used them a couple of times, but the others are going to be first impressions. I do not have a full full face again and we will fill in the rest of it with some other high-end products that I have. All of this I got at Sephora and you know, Sephora is not cheap, even like the Sephora own brand, it's more affordable, but it's not in any form like affordable. Yeah, I'm really excited for this video. I, like I said in every other video, so I'm not gonna bang on about it. I'm on like a foundation skin journey. I'm trying to find something really good for my wedding, even though I probably will not be doing my own makeup anymore. I just don't want that kind of stress. So even if I had a, my favorite foundation, I could ask the makeup artist to use this foundation. So that is the purpose of this as well. So this is the first high-end foundation we will be trying in this video series. There are a couple of more I wanna try, like maybe the new Fenty if it comes out in South Africa, because we do have Fenty, surprise. Let's just go ahead and get started. I've literally been talking for a minute and a half and we haven't even started yet. So I'm gonna clip my hair back and then we'll get started. So starting off is this is more like skin prep in my opinion. I just wanted to try it and I was very, very curious. The mini bar at Sephora is my absolute favorite. Oh my gosh, if you've never been to a Sephora, I'll try and find a clip and or a picture and put it in here. But it's a section of Sephora where they sell their like highest rated products or just I guess brands that want to elect to do that and they do little minis of everything. That's how I got the Tarte concealer as well as the NARS concealer. Like I just love that section because you can get a bigger selection and not spend that much money because I have so much makeup, I can't use everything up always. So the minis are a great option and I would recommend if you did have the opportunity to go into a Sephora. But yeah, the first product I got is, I don't know if you can see that, but if not, I will just put a picture on the screen. But this is the Super Goo unseen sunscreen this is only an SPF 30 but I know it does go up to 50 if I'm not mistaken and this is a water resistant clear gel sunscreen primer so you can use this as a primer and it, like I said I've, this is one of the products that I've used so this is quite mattifying but it does feel like silicone and silicones are not my favorite because they tend to peel up on me it's sunscreen so I haven't put on sunscreen yet I have also been testing the Fenty Hydra Visor uh, let me know if you want to see a video on that. Yeah, not not my favorite. Supergroup is a very like highly rated sunscreen brand. Everybody loves them. They have the tinted one as well. I think it's called, I can't remember, but I'll insert it here. But they have a tinted one as well. So just in case you were wondering, that is, it's tracking my face. There we go. This is what that looks like. So it's just like a gel. How often do you see sunscreens like this? So it doesn't have a fragrance, but like I said, it is a super silicone -y texture. Let me zoom you in while I apply this. Also just excuse the sounds because my hands are super, super dry. I don't know what's happening. The lighting's just gone dark, so sorry about that. So I'm just going to apply this all over the face. As you can see already, so mattifying. Why did I say that so weirdly? This just feels like your standard silicone primer. It does dry down and that silicone feeling kind of subsides, but you can still feel that it's like on top of your skin. Also, I don't know why, but the fine lines under my eyes are getting so much worse. And I don't really go into the sun, so I'm not sure what's causing that. But if you have any advice for me, please let me know. I do use two different types of eye cream. I use one in the morning and then one in the evening. They're very different, but nothing seems to be working, especially on this eye. It's just like such fine lines, so don't know. Anyway, moving on to the actual primer I wanted to use today and I'm very excited for this as well. Even though I've tried it maybe twice, I didn't have the best first egg impression to be honest just because it kind of did nothing in my opinion but today for our primer we're going to be using the glow recipe strawberry can you see that there we go 
the glow recipe strawberry bha pore smooth blur drop so this is supposed to be like a serum slash primer i think it's more of a serum than a primer to be honest i don't like that it looks like that i would prefer like a little squeezy tube it is fairly runny as you can see and it's like a milky texture I was so excited when it said strawberry as well, but it doesn't smell like strawberry at all. It just smells like skincare. So I'm just gonna rub this between my fingers and we're just gonna, I think I took too much. I'm gonna apply this to just one side of the face. So I can show you the difference. Again, now this is nullifying the matteness of that sunscreen. I do like the idea of a clear sunscreen though. So as you can see, it's added a little bit more of a glow. I thought I didn't rub it in there, but it's just added a little bit more of a glow there and this is the side without in my opinion the pores look exactly the same so I don't know how it is pore smoothing I guess maybe over time like the longer you use it the better it would be or benefit your pores as for these two products primers I would recommend the sunscreen over the BHA pore smoothing drops if you looking for primer specifically this works better as a primer obviously not with every single foundation because you would have to use one that's oil based or silicone based rather than water based but if you were going with something water based I think this is great over something like I said the tinted sunscreen because they would layer really nicely because this kind of gives you a smooth base as well without feeling silicone -y. that's my verdict on these two as I said I have tried them before they I would recommend them for different things and I don't think that I use this as intended it, it does say that it's a serum but because it's pore refining and blurring I thought it would be great as a primer especially as someone who's more oily next we'll move into brows and like I said in my previous video I don't really like to do brows on camera but I've been requested to do it a few times and yeah I got some products so I thought why not so today for my brow pencil I have the see if you can see that I'm sorry this is so old school putting my hand behind but I'm really hoping that you can see that and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer triangular brow pencil so this is another mini like I said and this is a massive tip like that's kind of not what I would usually go for just because I have such fine brows and barely any so the big one it can get out of control really quickly so I'm just going to use the spoolie that is on the other side I love that about it I must say and as usual I'll just brush my brows up and then just as you can see I mostly use like the tip of the pencil so it's actually kind of wearing down what shade is mine and I forgot to tell you that medium brown I forgot to say that I did also get this as a free little gift with purchase and as you can see it works fine it's not as pigmented as like my revolution one what what, what is it I a relove by makeup revolution I love that one I use it daily but this is all right I mean if you're into that like I would rather spend less money on a brow pencil and more money in other areas don't like the shape of this pencil though in all honesty but the color is like perfect for now we'll leave this here and we'll move on to the brow gel which is another anastasia beverly hills product and this one i did buy so this is like i said anastasia oh it's tracking my face again so this is the anastasia beverly hills brow freeze gel so i never tried the actual like pomade potted one but I was interested in this and I saw it as a mini and it just came out recently so I thought I would give it a go. It has like a very very interesting applicator. I've never seen this before in any affordable brands but I did see hmm, e.l.f. is coming out with one that looks similar to the Refi one. How are we going to do this? I think I'm, I'm going to brush through my brows first, brush them back brush them up and then I'm going to go in with the side and just like add a little bit more product and then brush through again the applicator deposits quite a bit of product so I just used like the slightly longer side now I'm going to go in with the other side which is slightly shorter bristles just to comb through them oh that works really nicely I really like that 
on first impression. I haven't tried this yet. And the component just feels so luxe. Like this is a soft matte touch and like it feels kind of weighted. So I really like this. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it was definitely worth it. So easy. That's actually a lot easier than any of my other affordable ones. It just, you can control the brush better with the shorter bristles. That worked out perfectly. There's not even a lot of mess like around my brows. That is very interesting and I really love that. To finish off my brows, I just used my NYX Lift and Snatch because I didn't want a blocky brow. I still want my makeup to look good and I didn't want to you know push the boat out on that so I just filled in the front of my brows and some sparse spaces with this and I think this is the best my brows have looked in a really long time I used to take ages with my brows it's always like the longest of my whole makeup application but I felt like that went really quickly because the gel dries down pretty quickly it literally is glued to my face I don't think they will be going anywhere it's not as shiny as the most affordable ones that I do have so I really like that and I would 100% recommend trying those out the pencil it depends what you like because if you like a thicker brow or you have less brows and literally need to draw it on I think this would be great for that but like me I have really fine small brows so I need something more micro and that I can control so, better. So. Moving into foundation which is again why this whole video came to fruition because foundation foundation foundation. I've heard really good things about this. I was at Sephora taking a look at everything. The uh, House Labs Triclone, the Made by Mario, the what else was I looking at? There was a couple others. I think Coda Beauty, uh, Fenty. I was looking at a few of them but I wanted something more fluid so something that isn't going to cling to anything something that's a little bit more lightweight and we ended up on this brand which is very random but so this is the only thing that's still in the box I just couldn't take it out because the box is gorgeous look at that so this is the benefit bounce skin tint it says always on radiant skin tint what it's called the always on radiant skin tint misspoke there and it's supposed to be long wearing weightless and buildable coverage exactly what I am looking for so that's what sold me and then also the color um the color or the shade range was pretty good in my opinion there was darker lighter anything in between so I was really happy about that I am like more of a medium skin tone anyway so a lot of brands do include me but I know a lot of brands aren't fully inclusive but I got mine in the shade I don't know if you'll be able to see but this is tan four so I did like swatch it on my hand when I was in store I like that they seal everything and honestly every time I go to clicks in South Africa why do they not seal their products like it makes absolutely no sense like people are just like sticking their fingers in everything ah! the packaging so that's what it looks like very pretty I love the pink ombre it looks so cute I don't particularly love droppers but as long as the product's good inside it says shake well before you use apply with a damp beauty blender layer as desired so as always I'm going to do one side with the brush and one side with a beauty blender and we'll see what we like best so giving it a nice shape. This is my favorite one right now. It is the Peaches and Cream PC08 and it's like a dome brush like that. Really love them. And I was gonna put it directly on my skin but probably shouldn't. So I'm going to just pop some on, see, it never comes out. Oh, I really think I love this texture. I don't know how much to use. But the component looks a bit messy so that is the texture that is what I was expecting this to look like but it didn't it's much thicker I've seen people actually use this makeup revolution one and absolutely love it and it looks way more fluidy than mine does so not sure where the problem lies in that but let's zoom you in I swear every time I zoom it gets darker I don't know if I'm tripping but that's what it feels like so I'm just gonna pick some up oh the texture is already pretty good I love it and then I'm just going to pick up the excess with the brush and let's go ahead and start to blend just pouncing this in I think that color match is actually perfect so this side of my face is the more textured side brush is perfect to like do around your brows as well it's such a good brush I got them on the tiktok shop for like I want to say 30 pounds for like 15 brushes for having a special and I jumped on it so this is 
literally what I thought the skin silk would look like. Look how gorgeous that looks on my skin. It's such a natural finish. It's not too like shiny. It just looks like my normal skin. Here's always my problem over here because things like cling on because I do have a lot more texture there, but this is not clinging on at all. And my pores, they're not like completely blurred, but they do look a lot better. The texture of the foundation feels really silky. I'm really happy with my choice there. The color's not too bad because we're not matching my actual face. We are matching my neck. Yeah, I think that's spot on for a color match. So first great purchase. I don't know how much it cost me, to be honest. I need to double check, but I, I think it was a pretty penny. <laughs> Let's do the other side with the sponge. I'm going to use the same application method. If I can get anything out. I did take a little bit too much so I'm just gonna take my this is just a beauty blender I got from Sephora it's honestly one of my favorites I love the beauty blender blenders but I find them a little bit too porous and they kind of leave a weird imprint on my skin I'm wearing white today so hopefully the foundation doesn't get everywhere but taking this and again just bouncing that into the skin that looks amazing too it kind of looks more radiant I guess because the my beauty blender is still quite damp so that's what it's looking like. I think the effect that it gives with the brush just looks more finished. Like this kind of looks a little bit rough. So I'm just gonna take the brush and I'm just going to push that in further. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look how good my skin looks. I don't think it's like a new, new foundation, but it's also not like old, old. <laughs> I'm really, really happy that I just tried it out and didn't go for something new just for the sake of it being new. Really, really, really excited with that. Can't stop looking in the mirror. That's always a good sign. <laughs> Moving on to concealer. This isn't new. This is the, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like NARS Soft Matte, I think. It doesn't say underneath, but it's just the NARS concealer I think it's called soft matte in the shade medium to ginger and I haven't used this for a really long time it's not my favorite I loved it when I did my first impression but the more I've used it the more I've realized it's super dry on my under eyes I don't have any other cream products so we'll just move into powder and I need to find a clean sponge first. There we go. I have two brand new ones from what is it? What are they called? She Glam. So I got two new ones from She Glam, both brand new as you can see, because we have two powders to test out today. I just I, I couldn't pick one over the other because I've been having some serious problems with powders lately. Firstly, the first powder we have is the, I threw the box away, but this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. And that is what it looks like. It looks so luck. Gorgeous packaging. And this is again a mini. And then right next to it, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't leave the shop without this, but this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I've seen so many people absolutely love both of these powders. It's their holy grail. If you watch any sort of like uh, international makeup channel, like anything in the UK, anything in the US, you'll know. I've never tried it. So I was really happy to see that they have minis. So because I want to try both of them today, I don't have many high-end products, so I can't put this into a future video. So we'll be trying one on one side of the face, one on the other. Let's start with a Laura Mercier. Whoa, comes out fast. Just in the cap, that is what it looks like, which is nice that it's tinted so it won't leave me with a white cast. I'm gonna grab one of these puffs. Let's go this eye actually. And then I'm gonna take this and just kind of push that into the skin. Upon first application, I am not absolutely in love with it. It kind of just does what every other setting powder does. That is what it's looking like under my eye. I'm gonna go ahead and take a nice fluffy brush. It's looking really nice with a brush, like just lightly tapping and then swiping or blending. I actually really like this. Is it give me a slight luminosity? I don't know, it doesn't look fully matte. I need to get some more on my forehead. My forehead's always the problem. Well, I actually understand why people like it. It's not my favorite under the eye, but if I think I used a brush, it might look really nice. But look at that. You can still see the glow of the foundation through there and everything is still set and smooth. I don't know why I'm frowning, but that looks so gorgeous. I actually really like it. I take back what I 
said about a powder being a powder that looks really gorgeous we'll see how it wears because my skin does get quite oily through the day so next we'll use the hourglass this one is slightly lighter but it says translucent so i'm hoping to expect translucent that's cool it has like the h where the sieve is i don't know if it will show on camera but that's very cool this powder does look a little bit more finely milled this one's actually nice it comes out a lot slower than the laura mercier with those massive holes I'm going to take my clean beauty blend beauty blender make a puff whatever you call them I'm going to again do the same process i pick some up and then just rub it in puff out the creases guys i'm so sorry i've been making such long videos but i'm just so into it at the moment so just bear with me again i don't think this is the best method for my under eyes i think that it just enhances those lines I don't see much of a difference on my under eyes because like i said they're textured and yucky anyway so i don't think there's anything we can do about that tag a new they look the same don't they but this one was what we just used and this is a clean one so just so you know i'm using a clean brush getting some more in the lid i know a lot of people absolutely swear by hourglass powders so the first thing i'm noticing the difference between the two sides is the veil one does also have a little bit of that's not a difference but a similarity i guess is that it does also have a slight sheen as you can see like on my forehead there it doesn't give me as much color which i guess is a good thing you can really tell by the forehead this one just has a little bit too much color but i did get the shade honey like i said so that could be my bad the hourglass one seems to have set my face down a lot faster with a lot less product uh which i really love but ultimately they're both giving me such a nice effect but as you can see on camera especially this one has a lot more luminosity, but equally, they're pretty good. I think I only have one more product that we need to test. So, so the rest of the products are all products I've previously used. So I'm going to go ahead and just speed through that and I'll just show you what they are and then we'll come back and do the last product together. The very last product we have today is a setting spray. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. And honestly, I don't know why I got the Ultra Matte one. I used to have the just the normal, which I absolutely loved. Used up the whole thing, never repurchased. But I thought I would try this as well, just again for wedding. It's the purple one. Just test the spritzer. I just did add mascara, so maybe I should cover my eyes. Oh my God, I feel like my makeup looks absolutely gorgeous today. So I'm gonna cover my eye here and just, I can't even see, so I think I sprayed most of it onto the thing. Anyway, the spritzer is quite aggressive, but it's not terrible at all. I've had much worse. So I'm just going to push this all into the skin. I feel like I still have a radiance to my skin. So I did use pretty like luminous products. So I think, that looks phenomenal. So let me just go ahead and take down my hair and just get off that mascara mark and we will do the conclusion or my final thoughts. Okay, so this is the final look. I don't know why I do this with my hands, but this is the final look. Don't know if you can see the full effect of it, but I swear 
This is the best my skin has looked in a really, really, really long time. I've been struggling for months with my skin and honestly, I think it looks gorgeous. The whole makeup look together looks amazing. I might recreate this look on Saturday for my next wedding dress fitting because I really like the way it's looking. I can honestly say there's not one product here today that I disliked. There is products I would pick over others if I had to go repurchase. Let's put it that way. The products I would definitely repurchase. Definitely the Anastasia Brow Freeze. I think my brows held up really nicely and they actually look kind of matte. They're not too shiny, but in a natural way. I really like that and I think they're gonna hold up really nicely. I cannot wait. I will put some notes in the description bar, so go ahead and look at the foundation. I think this was the star of today. Honestly, absolutely love it. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And I am absolutely gobsmacked. So excited to reuse this. I'm gonna use it a couple more times, obviously, until I decide whether I want to use it for my wedding because I still have a year. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. Like I said, I might do another video and I'll update you guys on all the products I've used over the last six months and where they are now. There is also one little sample that I got, the Milk Hydro Grip. I really want to compare this to the Elf, Elf Power Grip and the Beauty Bay Jelly Primer. So let me know if you guys want to do that. I can do a short or I could do a long form content and then just do like a wear test. So please drop a comment down below if you'd like to see that. I might just put a comment and ask you guys as well. But I think that's everything. Oh my god, the powders. How did I forget? It wasn't right in front of me. The powders, really love them. I would definitely repurchase at least one of them if they work. So far, I think the Hourglass was a little bit better than the Laura Mercier just because of the shade. But other than that, my skin feels amazing, so smooth. There's no powder clinging to anything. Oh my gosh, how could I have forgotten? Absolutely love them so much. But yeah, that's it completely and thank you so much for joining me here today i'm sorry again for another long video but i'm just super chatty and i'm opening up a lot more than i was before because i was super shy but i really don't care anymore i love to do this so this is me that is it from me guys thank you so much for watching again please remember to like and subscribe comment for engagement and also share the video if you liked it but other than that that's it from me guys i'll see you all next week bye